everybody. Thank you for coming. And I've been asked to serve you by sharing with you something on chanting. Everybody is chanting, right? In ISKCON, uh, we always emphasize on chanting as the cornerstone of spiritual practices. Whatever you do, ultimately, we ask, are you chanting? <laughs> and if for initiations, you have to come to 16 rounds. Chanting is like the foundation. And if we get this first and most important step right, then everything in our spiritual life will be auspicious. And if we get this one step wrong, if we get chanting wrong, then everything will be chaotic. You know, it's like uh, in mathematics, when you're a student, the first step, if you do wrong, then the whole sum in the end, the result is wrong. Right? If you're going from uh, Detroit to New York by flight, if the flight takes one small right turn away from the map, from the path, then it will go so many miles away from the destination. So today we'll discuss three topics. Today we'll have three things today. First, I'm going to share with you six rules for better Japa, which Srila Sanatan Goswami has given us. After that, I'll keep an alarm for five minutes and all of you will have to chant for five minutes, not one round, but till the alarm goes off, you have to chant. Following the six rules that I'm going to share with you. So when the alarm goes off, we will stop chanting. So this will be an experiment. So this is the second thing we will do. And after that, we will have 10 minutes, 15 minutes of question answers. Is that okay? So we'll start with the first topic. Sanatan Goswami is the Sambandha Acharya in our parampara. He is the one who has trained us how to develop a relationship with Krishna. What is his worshipable deity? Anybody knows? Sanatan Goswami is worshipable deity, Radha Madan Mohan. So in Hari Bhakti Vilas, 17th chapter, text number 129, Sanatan Goswami has given us six rules. If you follow these rules, we will be able to make Japa a very fulfilling experience. And these are extremely powerful. And I want you to hear this attentively. And then when we start chanting for 5 to 10 minutes, you will remember all these six rules and chant. Okay, so this is a verse you can repeat after me and then we will explain all the six rules. Please respond. Manaha samskaranam saucham. Manaha samskaranam saucham. Maunam mantrartha chintanam. Maunam mantrartha chintanam. Avyagratvam anirvedo. Japa Sampati Hetava. Japa Sampati Hetava. We'll chant once more. Manaha Samskaranam Shaucham. Manaha Samskaranam Shaucham. Maunam Mantrartha Chintanam. Maunam Mantrartha Chintanam. Avyagratva Manirvedo. Avyagratam Manirvedo. Japa Sampati Hetava. Japa Sampati in his con, we always chant three times, right? Panchadatva mantra three times, Hare Krishna mantra three times. This shloka also will chant three times. Manaha samskaranam shaucham. Manaha samskaranam shaucham. Maunam mantrartha chintanam. Maunam mantrartha chintanam. Avyagratma manirvedo. Avyagratma manirvedo. Japa sampati hetava. Japa sampati hetava. So the six rules, if we remember them and implement them, then we will experience a relationship with Krishna. We are in ISKCON not to simply understand Krishna. We are not here simply to have knowledge about Krishna. We are not here simply to share Krishna consciousness with others. We want to first experience Krishna's presence in our life. In Madhya Leela, Madhavendra Puri section, Srila Prabhupada, fourth chapter of Madhya Lila, I think text 134 per 4. Srila Prabhupada says, 
one cannot understand krishna no the first sentence is krishna all the vedic literatures are meant to understand krishna i'll repeat all the vedic literatures are meant to understand krishna but one cannot understand krishna without being a lover of krishna so this sentence shila prabhupada right you can repeat this sentence after me all vedic literatures all vedic literatures are meant for understanding krishna are meant for understanding krishna but one cannot understand krishna but one cannot understand krishna without being a lover of krishna without being a lover of krishna unless you experience loving emotions with krishna you cannot understand krishna and chanting 2 hours for those who are initiated is your exclusive time with krishna in those 2 hours we can actually develop a relationship with krishna and most of us for so many years have bad habits we waste those 2 hours in texting while chanting we watch tv while chanting we drive while chanting we waste this we don't know how to use those 2 hours in such a way that we can have a relationship with krishna so these six rules are meant for that so the first rule is manaha samskaranam there are six rules manaha samskaranam shaucham maunam mantrartha chintanam avyagratvam anirvedo the for the six japa sampatti hetava these six are the wealth which helps us make japa and a platform for relationship with krishna first one is manaha samskaranam which means while chanting we will be doing this when i when we have the experiment round so when we are chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare this is how we are chanting externally but the mind is going everywhere so when you become aware that the mind is wandering so as you are chanting and moving the beats you will gently come back to listening to the sound hare krishna the sound hare krishna and ram the sound we have to listen the whole japa is based on the science of listening come back come back meditation in hare krishna movement means chanting listening to your chant did you understand it very important Prabhupada was asked how to chant attentively. Prabhupada said three techniques: listen, listen, and listen. Listen to the holy name. So mind will wander. Anybody here while chanting your mind wanders? <laughs> Thank you. That means congratulations. You are all normal people. <laughs> I am happy. I am with all normal. If somebody had said, Prabhu ji, my mind doesn't wander at all when I am chanting. Gospel. Huh? He has become gospel. He has become either pure devotee or you have to see some psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> mind has to wander. That is the definition of mind. Mind means chanchal. Mind means restless. So mind wandering is not a problem. The problem is when you realize your mind is wandering. I'll repeat. mind wandering is not problem the problem is when you realize your mind is wandering what do you do do you say theek hai hare krishna hare chale that is offense but when i realize mind is wandering if i bring it back then i am practicing manaha samskaranam i am practicing pulling the mind back sometimes devotee say prabhu ji i chanted and after 12 rounds i realize my mind is wandering i am so fallen i say no you are not fallen because you realize after 12 rounds you are fallen if after realizing after 12 rounds you still allowed the mind to wander if you realize then you bring it back at least for one mantra two mantra then again mind will wander so mind wandering is not a problem what is the problem after realizing that the mind is wandering then we don't come back that is a problem so if you hear this class you'll remember at least for next few days and then you should bring it back that time so this is first technique first rule 
मन संस्करण शौचम सेकेंड इज शौचम ना शौचम इज नॉट अ टेक्निक इट इज अ कलचर शौचम मीन्स क्लीनलीनेस प्यूरिटी विच मीन्स लाइक यू नो आइडियली टेकिंग बाथ एट एन एक्सटर्नल ग्रोथ लेवल at least once or twice a day taking bath and then also it means just like you know we clean the body we should be clean we should be careful of like we are careful of keeping our body pure clean similarly we should also keep the mind we should bathe our mind we should be like just like you know people don't eat non veg we don't eat na egg fish meat we don't eat very spicy food which is cause health problems we are conscious of what we eat at least some of us we are conscious right similarly we should be conscious of what goes in the mind also mind because that is also eating only like anybody says anything uh, gossip scandalous things or anybody some bad uh, dirty news comes or something on internet so when you are seeing that hearing that that is like eating food that is like uh, making the mind unclean shaucham principle is violated shaucham means keeping just like you keep clean your house we should clean our inner system also sometimes you know when there is gossip going on if you go and join that that means we are eating bad things we are dirtying our mind i know some people we don't like to do gossip we don't like to criticize we don't like to say bad things but we like to hear if somebody is talking we just go and listen i'm not saying anything i'm just, we enjoy listening and then in between we'll pass one or two expert comment also but we will not take the initiative but we will be part of that gossip that is very very dangerous so it is like eating non veg it is like eating prohibited food it contaminates our consciousness जैसा अन्न वैसा मन सो वॉट एवर न्यूज सो द न्यूज चैनल्स विच आर इन इंडिया न्यूज चैनल्स आर वेरी पॉपुलर पीपल आर ऑलवेज ऑन द न्यूज सो न्यूज इज द न्यूज चैनल्स आर डिजाइन टू कीप यू हुक टू नेगेटिविटी ऑल न्यूज ऑल द न्यूज इज ऑलवेज अबाउट बैड न्यूज दे विल नेवर से टूडे सो मेनी पीपल आर चैंडिंग हरे कृष्णा द हेडलाइंस विल नेवर बी हेडलाइंस विल ऑलवेज बी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी terrorism rape these are all the headlines because we all have i don't know if you are aware we all have negativity bias from childhood we like to hear negative things and news channels know this that's why they flourish you know when you are driving in the highway on the right side left side there is beautiful trees flora fauna nice forest mountain you will not see it but if there is some accident and the vehicle is crushed and your vehicle is going you will all keep looking at it kya ho gaya we like to see negative even child psychologists have seen that small baby you keep a child uh, come in front of the child and smile and do funny things the child will look at you happily but you come and frown or make angry face or do something scary the child will stare at that person for a longer time even from childhood we have this bias we are attracted to negativity bad news that is why human beings are depressed all the time because they like to be miserable we don't we say we want happiness but many of us derive happiness in being miserable i don't know i know this sounds confusing but we that is tamasic we are we are tams we like tamoguna we like to be unclean in the mind so this is two things mana samskaranam and second is shaucham is this clear so mana samskaranam shaucham third is maunam maunam means hare krishna moment is a moment of maunam arvi mauni babas Yeah. Maunam basically means not talking anything nonsense, material things, hmm? prajalpa or gossip. 
not talking unnecessary things jiva vegam udaro pasta vegam controlling the tongue muh mein zuban sab rakhte hain muh mein zuban sab rakhte hain par kamal wo karte hain jo use sambhal ke rakhte hain <laughs> this is always going on no, 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 no. we always keep talking i'm sorry i'm a preacher i keep talking all the time but i've seen when i keep my, when i speak less and listen more i learn more so listening is more important than speaking we are one tongue and two ears there is a reason for that you should hear more so maunam doesn't mean not talking maunam means not talking unnecessary you save lot of energy when you don't talk and when you hear from others you learn also a lot about their life their realizations <coughs> so maunam is clear so what happens you know maunam now i this is a long actually this is a long presentation i will not speak on maunam much but there is one um there are if you want to control your senses na like uh, there are five things that are supposed to do. one of the things the last most important thing for controlling senses is called integrity of speech which means not talking anything which is unnecessary like there are few things which we need to do to develop control self control one is taking vows second is having good friendship third is guidance of seniors and uh, fourth is studying scriptures and the fifth one is integrity of speech not talking faltu use these things something watch la 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 it's okay the minding is so this is very important maunam mu band rakha see generally this requires a lot of humility to listen like right now you're all practicing humility sitting and listening to a person you don't know at all but you are listening that's faith that is humility hearing is a sign of humility generally in a conversation many times i have experienced this when somebody are talking we suddenly sometimes there is this itch when will you stop that i can talk we like to talk so given that proclivity still if we are controlling our tongue and maunam and we are listening that means we are developing self control it will help us in improving our japa because that energy we will use in chanting instead of talking <laughs> honestly you know i am a preacher i want to share this confession here you know sometimes i i give our rule when i travel i give only one lecture a day so even in farmington every day i am giving only one lecture because only saturday we are giving two saturday i agreed for two because i am spending one week so one day i agreed but so i strictly follow this rule because <clears throat> what happened when i should do two three lectures a day my next day japa is to get affected because that energy i didn't have to chant hari krishna see i i want to chant like this today morning i was at kadam kanan prabhu's house altar i was sitting in front of the altar and for two hours i chanted like this hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari like this i chanted for 16 16 round i chanted but if i had done three programs yesterday and if i had spent complete day talking 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 then while chanting i would be like this hari krishna 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 hari ram hari krishna krishna i'll be finishing i'll not be completing japa i'll be finishing and this is the beats we all are interested in these beats but when we talk too much then instead of these beats we become more interested in these beats <laughs> these are also beats only <laughs> फुल दिल का हो गया सोलह माला खत्म फिनिश सो बिकॉज दैट एनर्जी विच वी हैव इज लिमिटेड रिसोर्स सो मोनम विल कंजर्व दैट एनर्जी सो फॉर मी दिस बिफोर दिस क्लास आई सैड इन द रूम इन प्रभु यूज हाउस फॉर हाफ एन आवर जस्ट सैड डेट प्राणा एम कंजर्व सम एनर्जी बिकॉज वी आर Now, of course, this is glorification of Krishna. I will get blessings, so I am happy doing this seva. But in general, talking unnecessarily is every spiritualist will tell you: don't talk unnecessarily. 
ओके तो आउट ऑफ सिक्स वी हैव स्टडीड थ्री व्हाट इज फर्स्ट मन संस्करण सेकेंड शौचम थर्ड मौनम फोर्थ इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मंत्रार्थ चिंतनम मंत्रार्थ चिंतनम द मीनिंग ऑफ द मंत्र वी शुड रिमेंबर वेन चैंटिंग सी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द फर्स्ट टेक्निक इज वॉट पुलिंग द माइंड बैक फर्स्ट मन संस्करण सो वॉट हैपन यू नो मेनी टाइम्स वेन वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग द फर्स्ट लिसन टू दिस केयरफुली बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू डू दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट नाउ वेन यू आर चैंटिंग एंड यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग द फर्स्ट टेक्निक विच इज पुलिंग द माइंड बैक वी ट्राई टू बिकम लाइक अ योगी we try to become controllers yogis are always trying to control the mind we are not yogis we don't want to control the mind the our practice is bhakti yoga we are not here to become great yogis and controllers of mind our goal is not mind control therefore in chanting controlling and pulling the mind and listening to the sound is not as important as the intention behind that the intention is to serve krishna so mantraartha chintanam means remembering the meaning of the mantra and what is the meaning of hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare what is the meaning of this mantra radha rani krishna please engage me in your service i love you i want to serve you this is the meaning of the mantra so we need to meditate on this meaning and that is the intention that intention is more important than simply controlling the mind so out of this four techniques two are techniques and two are cultural practices maunam and shaucham is culture it's a practice daily practice and the technique is mana samskaranam and mantraartha chintanam remembering the meaning so while chanting externally we may be saying hare krishna hare krishna rama like that but internally we are meditating krishna i want to serve with that intention that desire has to be wanting to serve so these are the four techniques and fifth one is my favorite of the six this is the first time when i heard this avyagratvam my life changed dramatically i am going to explain what it is so four we have done out of six what is the first mana samskaranam means pulling the mind back second shaucham means cleanliness third maunam means not speaking mundane things fourth mantraartha chintanam means remembering the meaning of the mantra and fifth and sixth are very important fifth is avyagratvam avyagratvam is my all time favorite this is the one which has changed my life avyagratvam means not hurrying your chanting basically it means patience see when we are chanting this is if we are desperate to finish hari krishna hari krishna krishna sometimes we are feeling that oh how many beads are you kept take the beads and see oh so many beads are there ram ram hari hari that 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 eagerness to finish is violation of avyagratva avyagratva means you are with krishna don't rush let it the let natural speed be there that is avyagratva patience avyagratva doesn't mean hare krishna hare krishna not like that you are natural speed but not in a desperation to finish this is very very subtle but it has changed me completely the day I, the whenever i chant when i remove that uh, speed that urgency away i feel loved by krishna it is as if krishna is ready to embrace you but we are running away from krishna when we practice avyagratvam it is like telling krishna krishna i am i am not in a hurry then krishna reciprocates let's see just just imagine imagine somebody claims uh, he really really loves you he or she and somebody has come from a very far place to take your appointment or in desperate to meet you and you are like oh he loves me so much so much letters he has written so much appeal okay i have come tell me what you want to say and the person says come in come in 
I'm so happy you came. Please come, come. I've been waiting for you for so long. Prabhu ji, thank you for coming. Come, come. And he welcomes you and you come inside, you sit on the sofa and that person switches on TV and watches TV. <laughs> and you say, Are, why you called me? Or you say, Are, you called me, no? Ah, yes, Prabhu ji, let us talk. And as he's talking to you, he keeps looking at the watch. Ah, ah, yes, yes, Prabhu ji, yes. So what will you think? He is not interested to talk to me. Then why I should wait? I'll go. If somebody claims to love you, but while talking to you is only looking at the watch, will you be interested in that person? So we are calling Krishna. When we say Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda. When we chant Panchatatra Mantra, we are welcoming Krishna. We are like telling Krishna, please come. So Krishna comes in and we start Hare Krishna and we are like Hare Krishna, Hare, 12 rounds left. Oh. How much time? We plan, we plan, we think of rounds in terms of time. Okay, now uh, it is 7 o'clock. Till 7.30 I can chant 4 rounds. Then 7.30 I will go to the office. So in the car I can chant 2 rounds. In office I will be before everybody. I will chant 2 rounds in office. By coming back I can chant 2 rounds in the train. So we calculate everything based on rounds. Like in Mumbai, Borivili station to Gopal Garden School I used to walk. First time somebody asked me, Prabhuji, from station to school, I want to come. How far is it? I could have told him it is 15 minutes walking. But I remember I just blurted out, Ah, do malai. <laughs> <laughs> Two rounds. I should have told him it is 15 minutes, but inadvertently from my mouth it came. Prabhu, it is two rounds. The distance also we measure in terms of... <laughs> so disconnected from Krishna we are. So this is a violation of avyagratva. Constantly wanting to hurry up. I saw once in temple two young boys chanting in front of me. It was around 11 o'clock in the morning. Temple wall was relatively uh, not crowded. So two young boys were from college, they were chanting. I was behind doing Gayatri. So one boy was telling me, How much rounds is left? So he said, I've got two rounds left. Do mala baki. So this fellow is chanting like this. He said, Do baki. <laughs> Means as if you know, both of them have been burdened. They have, there's a gun put on their head that you should chant. And he's saying, I've got only two rounds left. You are lucky, you have only two rounds left. I've got eight rounds left. When will it get over? So this is like, there is no avyagratva. There is no patience here. There is, we are not happy that we are with Krishna. That is why I said today, I don't know if you remember before I said, the second, there are three topics today. First is these six rules. Then second, what did I say we will do? We will chant for 10 minutes. I didn't say we will chant two rounds. Remember? I didn't say we will chant one round. Because when we are round conscious, we want to finish. You know what I do sometimes? Like uh, when I am travelling, it, I do this. Like if I am travelling by plane, flight, and I know that I have got 8 rounds left. I look at my watch. So it is 7.30. So then I say, okay, I, if I chant 8 rounds, I know by 8.30 it will be over. And the flight is landing at 9.15, for example. So I resolve. Till we land, I will chant. So what happens? After 8 rounds also, I am chanting. And that, after that, na, after your quota, see, when you have that kind of uh, window, your chanting is very good. But when you are number conscious, chanting becomes compromised. Because we want to finish. See, 16 rounds is important. I count my 16 rounds. I'm just saying that sometimes you can try this experiment and see. Because we have become, that number has become a burden on us. So, Avyakratvam, I practice like this sometimes. Okay, now, let's, let's say I've got two rounds left. I know 15 minutes it will be over. But I put an alarm for 20 minutes. So, till the alarm goes off, I will not stop chanting. But I'll count my rounds. So, after two rounds, if the two rounds take 20 minutes, see whatever is later, alarm or two rounds, whatever is later, I will keep chanting. Because sometimes I may doze off while chanting and alarm goes off and I have chanted only one round. It can happen. So, whatever is later, I will keep chanting. So, I have seen that, that extra chanting is very nourishing. Because that burden is not there of finishing. So, this is Avyagratvam and I personally feel of the six rules, this is the one thing which has dramatically improved my chanting.
not hurrying not being because we are all a speed addicts i don't know in america but in india everybody is running they don't know why they are running where they are running everybody is running all the time for everything there is a competition nobody knows how to relax nobody knows how to do things slowly eating also you know they will buy a vada pav that bread and they will run and take the train and they don't even know how to eat properly everybody is on a hurry so chanting also becomes like that okay one is left first one means pulling, pulling the mind back second cleanliness third silence fourth meditating on the meaning of the mantra fifth not hurrying your chanting avyagratvam and the last is anirvedo anirvedo means determination or steadfastness even when you don't feel happy while chanting anirvedo means determination or steadfastness despite not experiencing ecstasy like when we chant we expect to feel blissful anybody feels all the time blissful while chanting prabhu ji maza aa raha hai i'm getting ecstasy nobody feels but still we chant that means you are practicing anirvedo because sadhana patanjali muni in yoga sutra explains that sadhana or spiritual practice is has three very important criteria it is called it spiritual practice when that practice is done for a long period of time it is a long term project it is not a one year project you can't say prabhu ji i am chanting hari krishna for last one year and i still not become pure devotee are you got to chant for 40 years it's a long term project that is first criteria of sadhana second you have to ch- practice without interruption you can't say next one month i am prabhu there is holiday from chanting <laughs> no every day chanting for 40 years dirga kala first is long term second is without break and third is sakarya which means investing emotions in that practice all three has to be there so you can't say that i want immediate results so to be able to practice sadhana for 40 years without interruption and with emotions will require us to practice anirvedo anirvedo means determination even when you don't feel just like those who are mothers here or those who are managing children or family there are so many things you don't like to do but you do right i remember my mother used to not always love to cook for me cook for us we were three children who always created rushes at home it's not that she was always ecstatic to cook breakfast lunch and dinner for us but she did it sometimes she was happy sometimes she was not happy so there there are some things we do with determination or steadfastness even if we don't get the joy out of it as duty so anirvedo means persisting with the practice despite feeling no reciprocation from krishna then krishna is happy oh this person is finding chanting dry but still he is chanting then krishna becomes happy i have seen that whenever i am like down and you know like not not enthusiastic but still when i put effort i have seen i get reciprocation that anirvedo is very important practice so there are six rules you can chant this verse once again with me manah samskaranam shaucham मौनम मंत्रार्थ चिंतन अव्यग्रवादो जप संपत्ति सौट ऑफ दिस्स टू आर बेसिकली लाइफ स्टाइल प्रैक्टिस शौचम एंड मौनम इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ स्पीच एंड क्लीनलीनेस द अदर फोर कैन बी प्रैक्टिस इवन वाइल चैंटिंग so can we do this i'll put an alarm remember now we are doing the second topic i'm taking out my watch so till we all have our own individual pace we are not going to chant together we will be together in chanting but we will not chant together is that clear
हरे कृष्णा एवरीबडी रेडी जय श्री कृष्णा चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिवा सदी गौर भक्त वृंद सो आई विल ऑल्सो बी चैंटिंग विद यू माय रिक्वेस्ट इज इफ यू लाइक यू कैन क्लोज योर आईज बट इफ यू फील स्लीप यू ओपन योर आईज बट इफ योर माइंड इज वॉन्डरिंग टू मच वेन योर आईज आर ओपन यू कैन क्लोज योर आईज टू फोकस बट वेन यू फोकस विद योर आईज क्लोज इफ यू फॉल स्लीप यू ओपन योर आईज If you feel distracted even by closing and opening the eyes, then stand up and chant. And by standing also, if you feel lethargic, then walk somewhere and pace and chant. Even if that you are feeling drowsy, then go to the bathroom and wash your eyes. Even if that is not possible, then Hare Krishna, I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> so we we have to try to chant just for ten minutes. Okay. So till the alarm goes off, you will chant. Is that okay? Yes. And you will you will follow these six rules. The time starts now. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Ram. Hare Ram. राम राम हरे हरे श्री हरि नाम प्रभु की नामाचार्य श्रीला हरिदास ठाकुर की श्रीला प्रभुपाद की सो दर आर टू टॉपिक्स वी डिस्कस फर्स्ट इज द सिक्स रूल्स ऑफ अटेंटिव जपा एंड देन वी डिड वन नॉट वन राउंड टेन मिनिट्स ऑफ चैंटिंग एंड नाउ बेस्ड ऑन दीज टू एक्सरसाइजेस दैट वी हैव डन वी कैन हैव नेक्स्ट फाइव मिनिट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फाइव टू टेन मिनिट्स anybody has any questions or comments regarding our today's discussion yes both of you first you can take your question maybe this uh, point about So you chant how many rounds? Sixteen rounds. See, I'm just, I'm, not, I'm just not a sacro saint. I'm just suggesting, if it is possible, two, three things I will suggest. Is it possible that after you complete your sixteen rounds, which you can rush your round, whatever you know, because you have to five days a week, six days a week, you are working, you have so many things to balance. So now I'm not saying change that. do whatever is going on let it happen but can you give 7 minutes uh every day or 8 minutes extra every day for chanting one round extra in that extra round while fingering your beads and saying hare krishna you could offer all your prayers of to krishna saying krishna i don't want to rush my rounds i want to be connected to you. all your emotions which are preventing which are uh, which will help you eventually not rush your rounds those emotions you can offer in those 7 minutes or 8 minutes of extra round or you can keep an alarm for 5 minutes and say the next 5 minutes i'm going to offer prayers see prayers mind will wander so you can chant while praying basically you can chant extra 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes of extra chanting and that period of that period can be where you reestablish your relationship with krishna and offer your intention to krishna that krishna i don't want to rush my rounds every day i am rushing but this is see it is like you know lover and beloved two people they are in a very fulfilling relationship but they are so busy they have no time for each other only time they have is when they are going to work or when they are doing some household chores together but they also need to spend some exclusive time together so many grahasthas they have this challenge of balancing house job 16 rounds so i know many of them they chant while going to work so i tell them it's okay at least some time you spend exclusively with krishna just like it is okay to spend time with your beloved when you are going to work but that should be extra 
there should also be some exclusive time when you are with your person you love similarly there should be some exclusive time with the holy name if we do not get that then we need to take out time so it is it is good that at least on weekends you are able to do it but every day also you can do for 5 minutes 10 minutes even you know you can like i know some devotees they have a rule they don't get up from the bed in the morning or they don't go to sleep at night before they feel connected to krishna so they put an alarm for 5 to 10 minutes i think 7 or 10 minutes and they sit in the bed on in vajrasan you know what is vajrasan sitting on the knees and they offer prayers krishna today i want to offer today for you today i am going to chant my 16 rounds for your happiness today i am going to meet these devotees and serve them today i am going to the kitchen let me serve prasadam for your happiness whatever their day they are offered to krishna and the mind wanders here and there and they keep coming back they offer their intention they offer their uh, heart and my mind wanders they come back and then suddenly at one point of time the alarm goes off because they put alarm for 10 minutes and then they realize oh mind was wandering then they switch off the alarm they say krishna i tried my best to connect with you but i could not <laughs> my mind was wandering too much but now i have to go because if i sit another 10 minutes mind will again wander only <laughs> so but i have shown my sincerity and then they go do 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 they go around doing whatever busy things they have to do whatever rushing they have to they do but again they come back next day again they come back every day some some of them do it before sleeping at night krishna whatever i did today thank you for this thank you for this thank you and then thank you krishna please let me serve you tomorrow and then again alarm goes off krishna i tried my best to connect with you my mind was wandering but i offer this day to you let me come back to you again tomorrow it's just like you know you lost someone and you're in a far away country you will call that person at least once a day <laughs> you know there are during covid people were stuck in different countries their wife or husband was in different country every day they would call they would make zoom call also there are people who got married on zoom call during covid you know <laughs> there are marriages that happened crazy <laughs> so that people are able to connect so why can't we connect with krishna what is the problem so we can call and there is a, there is no problem we can call krishna any time krishna just like you call your beloved on the phone i miss you i love you so krishna also we can call krishna i tried my 16 round it was horrible it was pathetic please accept it this is the best i could offer you today tomorrow i'll do better krishna <laughs> coming back to krishna is more important than being pure because mind is very chanchal mind will keep running here and there but the more we come coming back to krishna more we will be able to choose krishna there was one lecture of two lectures of propada i heard december 5 december 5 and december 6 1974 bombay third canto lectures both lectures are amazing shri propa speaks that ideal stage is we want to capture krishna like mother ashoda captured krishna then propa says but we can't capture krishna we are very very fallen but we have to choose krishna there is maya there is krishna so our challenge is not to capture krishna but our challenge is to choose krishna over maya now that also becomes difficult for many of us to choose krishna over maya like you know i have to rush i have to do so many things fine then the third thing propas is at least come back to krishna or connect with krishna once a day once in two days so capture krishna choose krishna or come back to krishna and krishna is always available one of my students friends he is giving some accountancy exam so he went to uh, delhi to give that exam his wife was in hyderabad and at one point of time he felt very panic you know that because a lot of financial obligations were there home challenges so at midnight around 1 o'clock he panicked and he called his wife and they have a nice relationship many years they are married and they are good family and he told her you know i am suffering and you know i am in anxiety so she reassured him so for 45 minutes he felt 
because he needed that encouragement he was in lot of stress so the midnight he called her and she also gave him that support which he needed and at one for after 45 minutes when finally they were hanging up and he thanked her and he expressed love and all that and then she said you could have we could have spoken this tomorrow also no the day time so he was very grateful to her but little disappointed that she was uh she was not happy that i called her when i really needed her help she was little because she also has many things to do she has to take care of children morning she has to wake up she has to do she also has to go to work so she is there for him but you can you can't take her for granted na like you can't call her in the midnight so she very humbly told him you could have waited till tomorrow we could have spoken in the day time and her point was reasonable and he's not upset with her it is just that he felt he felt grateful to her but he was feeling kya yaar is unconditional love or support nahi mila <laughs> so next day after the exam he told me is the whole story so that time i told him prabhu you are so lucky you know midnight also if i am attack panic attack if i have if i call krishna if i pick up my bedwag and say krishna and krishna is not going to say why you are disturbing me krishna is so nice So I told him, see, your wife should be secondary. First should be Krishna. You should have called Krishna first. <laughs> Then Krishna would have told you, don't call your wife now. She is doing so much. <laughs> Krishna would have told you, arey bechari, give her some time. She is doing so much at home. Then you would have got the interview because you are not connected to Krishna. You are making your wife's life also miserable. You are miserable. You are. See, human beings have limitations in giving love. So Krishna is always there for us. Okay. We'll take one last question, bro. Uh, Mata ji, you had a question. You had a question. What conscious? Goal. 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 Conscious. Yes. Uh, yes. I think that I think that I finish. Uh, very finally. Okay. mother you see yesterday also we were talking after the class i'm getting a feeling you know just like this is my humble opinion don't again i, I could be wrong see in your sadhana practice what i am hearing you say is somewhere you are drifting to a space of being a control freak you know i want to control my sadhana i want it to be perfect i want to chant like this i want to have this goal i want to connect to my guru i want to remember krishna i want to complete in so many minutes this is a yogi mentality this is not a bhaktas mood bhakta mood is we don't want to achieve holy name we want to receive the holy name we don't want we don't get krishna as love we receive krishna as love so mind wandering is that's why i said mind wandering is okay even if i told her also same thing you are rushing you are so many things it's okay just come back to krishna our mood is krishna this is the best i am able to offer you so that idea that control no that i want everything organized pakka i should complete my round with this time i want to remember my guru i am not able to remember my guru i want to remember my guru this is all controlling yogi mentality ashtang yogis do this they want to achieve success they want to figure out krishna but uh, scriptures say that pantastu koti shatavatsara sampragnamyo vayo ratapi manaso munipungavana ಸೋಕ್ತಿಯಾಗಿ 
it is a path of receiving krishna it is not you can't try to understand everything that i am speaking you are supposed to listen and allow understanding to come to you we always want to figure out everything we want to understand everything we want to control everything we want to make our bhakti perfect we want to please krishna krishna this is who i am i'm trying my best krishna i love you this is my this is where i am i'm confused i'm not good wherever we are we need to feel see our problem na most of us are born and raised in a culture where we realize our worth by our work if you are doing so much service in temple then you feel you are worthy i am in charge i am temple president i am uh, temple commander i am gbc i am guru i am worthy i am doing deity worship i am making up the deities i am dressing the deities are krishna doesn't need any of this mai roz subah mandir mein ghanti bajata hu i should wake up the deities in the morning so one day while doing the morning seva i got this realization <laughs> मैं रोज सुबह मंदिर में घंटी बजाता हूँ सोया हुआ खुद हूँ भगवान को जगाता हूँ आई एम स्लीपिंग एंड आई एम मेकिंग अ गॉड सो कृष्णा डजन नीड एनी ऑफ दिस कृष्णा डजन नीड एनी ऑफ दिस सो वी हैव दिस मूड यू नो दैट आई एम डूइंग दिस आई एम डूइंग दैट सो वी वी डिजाइव अवर वर्थ फ्रॉम द वर्क वी डू डिजेंट इज इन टू ट्रू actually our worth is not because of the work we do our worth is because of who we belong to i belong to krishna and that is my worth that is why i am worthy i am i am imperfect i am lusty i am greedy i am sinful yes but still i am worthy because i belong to krishna unless we devotees feel that now you will not be happy even if you chant your 16 rounds exactly the way you want all that goals you achieve you are after achieving all your goals you will be miserable because you will have more goals <laughs> you will become a goal addict you have to feel worthy you have to feel loved by krishna that is important for you so i my humble opinion is keep all this aside and take one day at a time and even that one day take one round at a time and even within that one round take one mantra at a time and even that one mantra take that one syllable hare this offer this to krishna feel worthy feel celebrate the fact that krishna loves you because this wanting to achieve do this is from a space of feeling unloved you are not loved see when we don't have love then we want control love and control are opposites in relationship also when you are loved you don't want to control the relationship so what happens many of us in sadhana bhakti we are controllers because we are not feeling loved by krishna so this this book which i wrote is all about that how to be in that space of being loved by the lord letting go the struggle and surrender this is all struggle what you are doing is struggle chanting is not a time for struggle chanting is a time for surrender krishna and yours like draupadi raised her hand krishna and yours while chanting we are supposed to be in that mood but while chanting we are like holding and mind like dushasan is tripping us we are fighting with the mind japa time is krishna i give up this struggle ha huh? at some point of time we have to give up the struggle but at least you begin by begin by listening to one mantra feel worthy feel that you are loved many devotees are suffering from this we want to control our sadhana we have sadhana card everything has to be organized how can you say sadhana card is good how much chanting i did today how much hearing what time i slept people keep track but there has to be something which should be beyond sadhana card see sadhana card is like a report card right so this is report card but that should be somebody to whom you show the report card <laughs> that report card is not the final thing report card that means your controller is sadhana card i also have sadhana card i can show you my sadhana card every night before sleeping i fill it up but there is something which is not in sadhana card my japa is in sadhana card because i have i know that i have to do that but there are something which is not in sadhana card 
like my journaling because that is where i connect with krishna my prayer sessions my deity worship sankirtan when i associate with devotees sankirtan has lot of energy if i take part in sankirtan i don't report that in sadhana card i report my sadhana card in sankirtan <laughs> there has to be some space where you surrender where you can't be controlling everything i agree japa is not surrender for me japa is like practice because i walk to my guru so i but there has to be some area some time in a day where you are not struggling you decide what it is maybe japa you want to have goals fine at least spend some time every day 5 minutes 10 minutes where you are telling krishna krishna i am yours krishna i am not struggling i give up the struggle at least something somewhere either bhagavatam or journal or dt worship make garlands somewhere you come and tell krishna krishna i am yours how you do it it's up to you for me journaling helps me better than japa <laughs> but japa i know will give me japa gives me safe i feel safe when i am with the bead bag so like that Is that okay? Yes, thank you. We'll take one last. You think one last? Yes. Or uh, I will take one Prabhuji also. It is only Mata Ji, Mata Ji students. So <laughs> that should be balance. I saw. Yes, I think Krishna. Can I Krishna? Yes. So when we uh, wake up in the afternoon, when I wake up in the morning and uh, quickly brush my teeth, wash my face, and sit down to the park, so there's a lot of space and time for showering, and time goes very fast in the morning, right? And if I get showered, body will clean, then I'm the first thing I do. I mean, time goes, so my morning time goes very fast. So what is the right thing to do there? Take shower in the pot or just in the pot. Start the pot. I don't know. Sometimes I also chant before shower. So I don't know. I think it's two things here. One is trial and error. You realize your own comfort, and second also it's your personal relationship with Krishna. I mean, you have to. I can't. It's like you know. It's like a husband and wife. They have some issues. Some issues. They go to a third person and discuss. That person gives some gyan. But ultimately, they have to come together and sort it out, है <laughs> ना? <laughs> <laughs> so you are coming to me, I am giving you some big gyan. <laughs> But you have to sort it out with your holy name and your. <laughs> so like that. So husband and wife are having difficulty. They go to a marriage counselor. Marriage counselors gives them some advice. But ultimately, the husband and wife have to meet. They have to discuss. They have to connect. Similarly, Japa Hari Nam is you and your supreme Lord, your beloved Lord. so how you offer your japa how what emotional exchanges you have that's very personal uh, i can only say that yeah taking bath in the morning helps it removes the tamasic thoughts but i don't know your compulsions i don't know your challenges i don't know your mental state so but krishna knows it best so if you offer that to krishna krishna will guide you like sometimes you know when i'm very nervous and very anxiety because of the day's challenges i don't take bath i just first chant because i want to feel that shelter i want to feel that connection with krishna desperate so i don't even take bath i have not even brushed my teeth sometimes and i have chanted eight rounds hari krishna because i am like i am desperate to feel some connection with krishna i am like afraid that if i go to take bath and come back by that time somebody will meet me prabhu ye karo so i live in a office <laughs> office you know like temple is my home but it's also like office because there are so many brahmacharis so many seva so many things to do In fact, when the sun rises, before the sun rises, I am very peaceful. Once the sun starts rising, I start panicking. <laughs> so I get up at two o'clock, at two thirty, and all that before five o'clock, I am blissful. Once people start moving about, I start panicking. So there are many times I also chant. So I made peace with it, but I know that it is best to take bath, best to be fresh. But all that is external because Mahaprabhu told in a Shikshastakam that Nam Nama Kari Bahu Dhan Jee Sarva Shakti. तत्रापित नियमेत स्मरणे दट इज नो हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल्स फॉर चैंटिंग सो सो इफ यू आर बेसिकली इट इज अबाउट यू नो इट्स वेरी पर्सनल 
like when i go through panic attack or anxiety i first chant and i'm not even taken bath so yeah i can't tell you that you should take bath and chant because i don't do it myself all the time is that okay anything else yes whatever you say okay prabhu ji is also here and then we'll take two prabhu ji and then mata ji theek hai we'll take and then you we'll end with you okay after him is that okay yes hari krishna bol rahe the okay thank you for the other thing prabhu ji you said train to krishna but can we train to some merciful form of krishna like why so that we can be on the same of course <laughs> you are asking <laughs> How oh, can I pray? Of course you can pray. Okay. Oh, what a question! I, how, how do you answer this question? We have to. We can pray to all the Goswami, the Vrindavan. Anything else? Yes. Anything that helps you come closer to Krishna is welcome. Rupa Goswami says, "Yena uh, kena prakare na manha Krishna niveshe." Some or other fix your mind on Krishna. so if praying to goswami is nitanand guru i pray to my family guru our because from childhood i have been praying to our raghavendra swami so every day i i have in my altar i put that also put his samadhi his photo also and i pray because from childhood i have been trained and he is also in bona fide sampradaya so i pray to him in fact before every class i pray i remember him so after chanting the mangala charan in the end i offer a silent prayer to him for his blessings anything that helps us come closer to krishna Yes, my dear. Sometimes we we have festivals or we have monthly events, but then we do not spend a week uh, in our home. So on that day, I on a Prabhupada uh, chanting is able to cool down. So that I on in my mobile and uh, while working, or if I am not sitting at home, I just try to rain down. I listen to that and something can be cool down. Is that the other kind of okay? I don't know. You should talk to your guru or whoever is guiding you. Only, only, and then you know what to do. Yeah, you can and ask. Your, you can ask your, uh, you can ask your spiritual master or whoever is guiding you in your spiritual. Because it's a very personal thing. Because I don't know you personally. Because I can't say it's okay or not okay. Because I don't know you. I am not. Because, uh, I'm telling you, I don't know you. You have to ask your guru because it's very personal. You know, sixty. You know, can you chant not on your beads? How can I say it's okay? I know it's exceptional, extraordinary circumstances, but yeah, you ask because you know why I tell you why I am not able to answer because first of all I am not I don't have that adhikar, I don't have that position to say. that it's okay because i know how the mind can trick us i have suffered mind is very tricky the mind says okay do today chant like then the mind says chant on finger then the mind says are my hands pain when i chant the mind gives lot of mind gives lot of excuses so you know many of you i don't know if you have realized this some of the biggest problems appear to you when you are chanting only <laughs> I don't know if you have experience. Like when I chant, suddenly I start feeling, "Are back pain or what?" But after <laughs> chanting, back pain goes away. I have experienced this many times. Chanting time, the most important uh, thing I have to do, I remember during chanting. <laughs> One day I'll tell you this is a true story. I was chanting and mind said, "Call him. This is very important. Call him right now. It's very important. Call him. Call him." I'm like, "Are you Krishna? Relax." So I had taken a uh, vow that I will not get up for the next one hour. No, so my dear said, "No, no, get up now. Call him, call him, call him." Raised. So finally, the mind I could manage a fighting, saying that I will call after the jump. But then the mind went to some other topic, <laughs> and then another topic like that. So after one hour, I completed my rounds. I kept the beat. and then i went for some work like that like that then something else then evening program everything and uh, i spent sleep at night morning i woke up temple all i came to chant i had a japa and after 5 minutes of chanting suddenly mind said 
call that person, same person whom I'm supposed to call. <laughs> I'd forgotten to call him. Remember, it was so important. It was so important the previous day. But what happened? 24 hours the mind forgot. So, knowing how mind is so powerful, for me to say it is okay, I don't know, mind, the mind wants one entry. <laughs> and then what the mind will do? So, I have seen like that Mataji, so I am not qualified to say. But I have seen one spiritual master tell his disciple, lady disciple, initiated disciple, she couldn't chant 16 rounds. So I remember this particular guru telling his lady disciple, it's okay, uh, you can chant four rounds every day. <laughs> so I was surprised, but I knew that he's compassionate because if I hadn't given her that license, she would have maybe not chanted even one mantra. So at least from 16 to 0, instead of that, at least she's 16 to 4. <laughs> Extraordinary circumstance. And one person, Srila Prabhupada told him, it's okay if you don't chant, don't chant Japa, you just do Seva. So like that, there are extraordinary situations where Guru can give that order. But for me, because I am struggling with my own mind and you are struggling with your mind and we both are drowning, <laughs> we both need help. So I cannot tell you it's okay not to, you know, that's very, very risky. Is that okay? You know, I'll, I'll end with this. There was a there was a halwai, halwai sweet maker. So he used to make uh, sweets and he had many employees in his sweet shop. And one day he realized, my God, I'm pampering all of these guys. I'm paying them so much money. They are cheating me. I will cut their salary. I, they, are, they cannot cheat me like this. So he cut all the perks because he realized that he was pampering them too much. So when he cut all the facilities, what did the workers do? They kept quiet, they did not protest. So he thought, see, I'm smart. They did not protest because they were also smart. They kept quiet. Because after a few weeks was Diwali. So when Diwali day came, just before, two days before Diwali, all of them went on strike. They said, we are not working now. Give us all these facilities, then we will work. So you saw what they did. At the, they knew when is the right time to strike. Most important time is Diwali time. He needs them the most. That's when they protest. So we are like that shopkeeper. Our senses are like the workers. And we realize whole life we have pampered them. We have just engaged in sense gratification. We have come to Hare Krishna is like waking up, realizing. Oh, now, no nonsense, four regulative principles, 16 rounds. So all the senses say, okay sir, so they keep quiet. They know the Diwali time is when? Morning, Japa time is the Diwali. <laughs> because that is when we need our senses the most. We need their cooperation the most in the morning time. And they also know it. So whole day they will cooperate. But Japa time they will say, aray, I need this, that, 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 so then we become helpless. The mind is running everywhere, abusing us. So mind is extremely powerful. And that's why I don't know if I've experienced when I'm praying also to Krishna, if I stand in front of the deities and pray, mind is going everywhere. How did it happen to you? Can you pray to Krishna like this? Krishna, I love you. Krishna, I want to serve you. Can you pray like this in your mind for 20 minutes? Impossible. Recently, I was standing in front of our deities, Radha Gopinath in temple, I was praying like this. Right now, I am telling you the words, but it was happening in the mind. Krishna, please help Sanjay and Swati. They are going through a divorce. Please save their marriage, Krishna. They are very nice couple. This is how I began. Right now, I am saying in words, but in temple hall, in front of deities, I cannot speak like this because others are also praying. If everybody is speaking out loud, it will be bewildering. So I was, my mouth was shut, but in my mind I was saying, 
Krishna, please help Sanjay and Swati save their marriage. They are such nice couple. My mouth is closed. But then you know what the mind started saying? Or what my prayers became? I am in front of the Lord, but I am not saying, please save Sanjay and Swati's marriage. Because what I am saying is the mind speaking. And the mind started saying, oh, it is Swati's fault only. She is very arrogant. <laughs> and she is exactly like that lady, that Ranjana in London, who is also going through divorce with that friend of yours. There also it is her fault only. Both these women are very vicious. They are destroying the marriage. And that Ranjana, she looks exactly like your Babi. Remember your Babi? <laughs> who died in that scooter crash in 1996. Her child was holding her and that scooter crashed into a truck and she died and she was wearing a helmet. But the son was not wearing anything and the son was saved. How death can come at any time? And the bus came and hit that truck. The bus fellows are very bad. They drive very rashly. And remember that accident you saw outside the high court in Mumbai where the bus crushed that auto rickshaw. And also that high court, that man was running with the dragger and he stabbed that man and the dragger was filled with the blood. You remember that? And that man running with the dragger was exactly like that hero in that movie which you saw in that theater where that hero was running with the dragger soaked in blood. Remember you went to see that movie with, you know, Amit, Vikas, uh, Sabu, all the names of all my friends. And remember that fellow is in Dubai, that fellow is in America and that, that fellow is in London. Now oh, London, oh, that Ranjana is also in London. She's going to do <laughs> So, and then I come back to this divorce prayer and say, Krishna, please save their marriage. <laughs> so, my mind has gone from 2024 to 1996 to uh, Bombay, to Dubai, to London, the whole world parikrama and back at Radha Gopina's Lotus Street. <laughs> and others are coming and saying, Prabhuji, how nicely you pray. <laughs> how sick. <laughs> You are so sincere. I'm like, yes, yes. I'm incarnated to pray for everybody. I'm the deliverer. I've come to pray. Yes, Prabhu. I'm there. But this is what is happening inside. Nobody can know what is happening. So we are all Mano Rathena, Sati Dhabato, Bahi Bhagavatam. We are driving the chariot of the mind. So therefore, we, are, we have to know that we need blessings, we need guru, we need guidance, like that. So it's very difficult. Mind is constantly running. <laughs> I shared my own struggle with all of you. <laughs> that is why I write. Because writing the mind has less chance of wandering. It's easier to bring the mind back when writing than when silently praying. So I prefer to pray by writing. Krishna, please help this person. You know, like I prayed yesterday morning. Yesterday morning I prayed for all the children I know in Farmington News. I showed uh, Kadam Kanan Prabhu in the evening, two pages. All the names of all the children I met in the last two years, uh, writing a prayer for them. That felt so, it's not that my prayers have power, but I felt, see, whether the people I pray for get benefit or not, that is, I don't know, but I will get a lot of benefit. <laughs> because you feel purity, you feel love in your heart. But if you actually stand and pray, mind goes everywhere. But when I actually remembered all the names of the children, you know, and I prayed, Dhruv, Prayala, Champakwali, Hidhya, Mukunda, all the children, Rishi, all the children I know, I wrote their names, and one one line for each of them, two lines. <sighs> so satisfied. So like that, if you pray for yourself also by writing, anyway, we are sending time pass messages on WhatsApp, sending emojis. Add one more person in your WhatsApp contact list, Krishna. <laughs> and start texting Krishna every day. <laughs> we have so many WhatsApp contacts. So many people we are doing, wasting time with. Right? Letter to Krishna. Anyway, you can chant also. Some people prefer chanting, some people. I will stop here. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada ki. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.